versus Magni! For Cosmodon! Your soul shall be mine! Questing Explorer is nice, I guess. If there's any matchup where Elysiana's good, it's against Control Warrior. But he might not be Control. I think I actually have to play Questing Explorer here instead of tapping, just in case he's Tempo. Looks like he's probably Control if he didn't do anything this turn. So, I will revert to my drawing a bunch of cards game plan. Got seven cards in hand. I think I just life tap here instead of playing either of my four drops. And then next turn I'll tap up to ten cards and plot twist. Looks like I drew a mortal coil, which is really nice here. Looks like I probably just play a card here. Twilight Drake was bigger, but this is more expensive, so I'll just get it out of my hand. Draw into Violet Warden. I guess I play it. It is a seven health thing, so it was good with Star Aligner. And also, my board is a little bit weak to Brawl right now. But I don't think it's that weak, considering how much big stuff I play in my deck. Let's keep using this hero power. Oh, Star Aligner. I think I play War Golem. Trying to beat him up. Maybe I should have taken a turn to just go like double Bone Wraith, get some cards out of my hand. Unity, precision. Pointing out the mummy really that good here? No tomb can hold me. Our home, our tombs. So when this dies he gets four things, which means I could go like double rabble bouncer this turn. Or like rabble bouncer bone wraith. Unfortunately I don't really have a nice way to kill this, so I guess I'm just trading off star aligner. I guess I just start with Bone Wraith Hero Power. Maybe I hit Zilliax or something. I think I definitely want to be saving Elysiana. Look for the sky. I probably want to save the Fell Lord for an appropriate time. 
So I guess here, I'll just throw this thing out. So Maybe I can go like Bone Wraith plus Rabble here. Bouncer this turn. It's a bit of an overcommitment, maybe. I mean, I don't have to use my hero power every turn, but I really like using my hero power every turn. Okay, I didn't get brawled, which I think is a good thing here. Let's play a thing and use the hero power. I think I'd rather save Twilight Drake for a reload, so I'll just go Zilliax here, and then I guess I just hit him in the face a bunch. Maybe I Mortal Coil? Probably don't want a Mortal Coil. I don't really want to get any deeper in my deck, it's just that using my hero power is good because the things cost zero. Maybe there is some sort of complicated math for him having one less one one was important. But probably not. So we can kill three of my dudes. That was a pretty strong turn. Probably just gonna play Mossy Horror here. Definitely don't hate to see a Dynamatic Overdraw. I could kill this guy with Godfrey, I guess. Maybe I'll just go like Fell Lord Tap here. Is Fell Lord Plot Twist good post Elysiana? Probably not, because like most of the stuff I'm shuffling in at this point is garbage. Let's just try to get something going here. Alright, that's cute. Unfortunately, he still has all of his board clears. So, even with this Elysiana giving me more resources, I think I'm going to have a hard time getting there. Nice. Oh, okay, he could have cleared whatever lived. Well, of course it's the right way. Let's play Elysiana. Probably just looking for the most valuable stuff, which I guess is Benyatta here. How likely am I to get dragons? Eh, even if I get dragons, I still get warlock spells. Not very good. Ooh, Omega Agent is sick. 
Bane of Doom. Not sure how easy it'll be to use. Maybe I'll just take a couple Wolf Riders. He is below 30. So many Yo, I've even got this Violet Warden to buff these Bane of Dooms. This one's not great, Emperor Cobra, I guess. We shall end this disturbance. Oh, I have mana for this thing, too? Damn, zero mana cards are nice. I think I actually got a pretty good set of stuff off of Elysiana. So I might still be in this game, especially if he doesn't have second brawl. Shield slam number two. This place is scary. That definitely seemed like the right order. So his hand is like random taunt, random mech, and three real cards. This wasn't on the map. Oh. Probably need to kill this thing. So this mortal coil does two. I guess I could send these things in and then coil. I have eight cards in hand. Well, I'm gonna start by drawing a card like this. Yeah, I think I can just play everything here. Right, so if he clears me here, I get two random legendaries, and then I still draw my card for the turn. And then I can reload with this Omega Agent. Nice, I even won the brawl. Shutterwalk? Oh shit, Shutterwalk with Omega Agent? Holy shit, the Shutterwalk is nutty. And this trade is actually hilarious. I guess I'm just playing both of my Omega cards here. Because if he clears this board, I just play Shutterwalk and fuck him up, right? No, I want to hold my Shutterwalk for the second Omega agent, right? Oh god, Shutterwalk gives me an Elysiana too? So, I'm guaranteed to draw the Omega Agent in the next two turns because I can hero power. Maybe I actually just plot twist for it here. Yeah, let's plot twist, why not? Do I want to hero power first? Probably not. Made my Godfrey more expensive, feels bad. I can't imagine the zero mana twisting nether is going to be that useful. Well, I might play my zero mana twisting nether here. Or I could go like double Bane of Doom. Or Godfrey. No, I don't want a Godfrey because then it's in my Shutter Walk. I've seen Double Brawl, Plague of Wrath. Shutterwalk should just be fine. What did I 
to get off Elysiana. A bunch of garbage it looks like, so I really hope this board can win the game. Nice. That was sick. Keep the Doomsayer for Aggro Warrior. Didn't I mulligan that card? I guess I Doomsayer this thing? How big does this get if he interages it? Six power, so I'm safe. Whoa. Wasp and bombs. Bombs are really, really good against my deck. Maybe I should've just gone Bone Wraith here. I'm definitely worried about dying in this matchup. Twilight Drake to contest that guy. Then we can start playing some defensive six drops next turn. Or maybe Bone Wraith tap. I think this is probably a Highlander deck, if I had to guess. I'm not sure. Back to work. What I am sure of is that I'm getting smacked. Let's just play the Healy guy, because I'm dying. Next turn, Violet Warden plus Mortal Coil might actually be pretty decent. Let's kill Frothing Berserker, I guess. Uh, I can actually kill it with a Mortal Coil, that's probably the best. I was planning to just run this into the Taunt and then Twilight Drake into it, but this seems way better. And look, I'm up at 19. And he's possibly played all of his bomb cards, so I might actually be okay. Oh, that was not a good turn for him. And also, that was his second Wasp, so no Zephyrus in the deck. I actually feel like I can just start life tapping. Probably should have played the one I just drew since he knew I just drew it. I don't remember if he knew I had this one. Dude, I could play Octazari in my deck to finish my quest. That sounds smart, right? Plot twist, so I can complete here if I want. I just go like Bone Wraith, Plot Twist. Bone Wraith doesn't even look that much worse than the other cards I could be playing here, so why not? I'm going face, not because I really intend to kill him soon, but I don't want him to kill his Octazari next turn or this turn. I just don't want him to have the options. Yeah, yeah, bomb, I know. So next turn can be like Betrog Hero Power, 
or Hero Power Twilight Drake Bone Wraith. Whichever looks more appropriate. God, I wish I could star aligner him. Be so sick here. Ooh, Betrug plot twist, maybe? You get seven things. I do want to kill this stuff. Well, I only get four things actually in play. Yeah, it's probably still good. Did that make any sense, killing the Eternium Rover like that? Maybe it made more sense to hit with this and then just go face here. I don't know, I don't really care. Anyway, what I did this turn hopefully doesn't allow him to kill his Octazari, which is what I want. Have two draws at a Star Aligner activator. And Star Aligner himself is certainly one. So I've got 9, 16 damage. Doesn't quite kill him, but I feel like I'm probably pretty okay from this position. He does draw a ton of cards here, so... Might be in trouble. Not really sure what he could do, though. Like, how does he deal with my board? There's no way he can just kill me. Right? Inner Rage, Copy Guy... Yeah, there's no way he can kill me. Let me do it. You scumbag. I'll take the win, though. After playing 30 games with this deck, I was absolutely shocked to see that I only had a 37% win rate, because the deck just felt so powerful when I star alignered people. But I guess that win rate does make sense when you look at the list and realize that you get pretty rolled by anything even kind of aggressive. I do think though that the deck is actually pretty reasonable against slower decks, just because you have so much time to actually complete your quest. You have a pretty high number of threats, it's easy to land the star aligners. And I made it even better against slower decks by cutting a mossy horror for an archivist Elysiana. Adding the Elysiana was the only change I made to the deck, but I think there are a couple other things you could do. Maybe you cut the Twilight Drakes for Hellfire, or maybe, I don't know, like Shadow Bolts or something. Just something to help you out in the early game. Or, heck, maybe even play, like, Earthen Ring Farseer or something. I don't really know. But the Twilight Drakes, I don't know, they're, like, weird to play on turn four because you kind of want to be drawing cards. And in the matchups where you're willing to not draw cards to play a thing, Twilight Drake isn't really the kind of minion you want. So, I don't know, it's a little bit of an awkward card. I think it's the card I would be looking at cutting, if anything. So let's actually cut both of the Twilight Drakes and go one Earthen Ring Farseer. And in the other slot, let's just play Zephyrus. 
We've seen some decks that aren't necessarily Highlander decks play Zephyrus, like Holy Wrath Paladin. And I feel like maybe this deck draws enough that it can get away with playing Zephyrus. I think it's definitely worth considering. As far as other changes to the list, I'm not really sure what you could do. Maybe try to slim down a bit on the top end, but I'm not really sure what else you'd be looking to play, because you do need a certain amount of things for Star Aligner. Maybe you, like, cut one Twisting Nether so you can play a Hellfire or something. But for the most part, I think a lot of these cards are important. 